Yes, yes. Uh, I would now like to invite Mr. Chris Jan, representative of Changzhou International Business Promotion Center, to further introduce us to the opportunities in Changzhou. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, shalom. Uh, I'm Chris Chang from Changzhou International Investment Promotion Center. And uh, today it is my honor to present a brief introduction to our city. And we called it a uh, gate to China for Israeli companies. And my uh, presentation will go uh, in three parts. I'd like to talk with you. Uh, one aspect is background information of Changzhou. The second is the ready-built platform, especially for Israeli companies. And the third aspect is the Changzhou existed corporations with Israeli companies. First, let's see uh, the background information of Changzhou. And uh, Changzhou is located in the eastern part of China, right in the center of Yangtze River Delta. And uh, this region, as you may know, it is the most economically developed area in China. And uh, it is well connected with uh, many international flights with uh, the every corner of the world. And uh, uh, it is uh, the most of flights from North America and European countries uh, have direct lines to Shanghai and Beijing, the two metropolitan areas of China. And Changzhou is very close to Shanghai. And Changzhou boasts very advantageous strategic position with the seven expressways five high-speed railways and Changzhou Airport and the, the Changzhou Yangtze River Port. Chang, it has built a convenient transportation network for Changzhou to be well connected with the major uh, cities uh, in Yangtze River Delta like Nanjing, Shanghai, and Hangzhou. And the Shanghai the Metropolitan, as you may know, and Nanjing as the capital city of Jiangsu Province, and uh, Hangzhou as the capital city of Zhejiang Province. Uh, they uh, uh, have formed a uh, uh, two-hour Shanghai economic ring. And as you may see in the map, the Changzhou is right in the center of this economic ring. And with uh, several neighboring major airports, uh, Changzhou is well linked to uh, other major Chinese domestic cities and other cities around the world. And uh, please allow me to uh, share with you some facts and figures of Changzhou. Changzhou is an important manufacturing and innovation base in Yangtze River Delta, and it covers 4,375 square kilometers of area. It boasts 5 million population and 33,000 industrial enterprises. Now, over 3,600 foreign-owned enterprises have already invested in Changzhou. They're from 104 countries and regions. And Changzhou has ranked the eighth in China's most valuable investment cities in the year of 2011, and ranked the 17th in Forbes commercial cities in China in the year of 2012. And uh, in the chart on the left, it shows the growth of Changzhou's GDP from the year 2008 to 2012. And we reached, you may see from the chart, the 395 billion RMB in the year of 2012, which may equal uh, 62 billion US dollars. And you can see uh, the chart on the right, it shows the actually paid in FDI's growth of Changzhou. And last year, the actually, FDI, uh, actually paid in FDI of Changzhou has reached 3.35 billion US dollars. And as Changzhou is the manufacturing and R&D base, Changzhou's manufacturing industries occupied 54.5% of the whole city's industrial output, which takes a very major part. And uh, the second major part is service industry. It takes 42.4%, and the third one is agriculture. And uh, the manufacturing industry includes uh, five pillar industries. One is equipment manufacturing, the other is uh, electronics and information, new energy, new material, and biopharmaceuticals. And the equipment manufacturing uh, industry, you may be curious what is this about, and uh, it includes transportation, equipment, construction machinery, agricultural machinery, uh, CNC machinery, and uh, also uh, power transmission machinery. And uh, electronics and the information, this pillar industry includes some audio and video products, and uh, also electronics parts and embedded software development. 
And the new energy mainly includes the solar PV and wind power equipment. And the new material includes uh, like special fiber and functional materials, etc. And the biopharmaceutical industry includes uh, biomedicines, pharmaceutical dosages or intermediates, and etc. And these are the logos of the Fortune 500 that already invested in Changzhou. You can see the logos. There are altogether 58 Fortune 500 enterprises that have uh, invested 95, uh, 91 projects in Changzhou. Some famous ones from uh, all over the world. And Changzhou also boasts very uh, relatively lower costs uh, comparing to uh, neighboring cities of Yangtze River Delta. You can see from the chart below the average wage of Changzhou is much lower than the uh, other cities in Yangtze River Delta, especially Shanghai, Nanjing, and Hangzhou. And Changzhou also boasts good living environment. Uh, make a brief introduction that uh, there are 12 five-star hotels like uh, Shangri-La, Sheraton, Howard Johnson, and also uh, world-chain restaurants and cafe like Starbucks and Subway. And uh, there are also uh, world-famous shops and markets all over Changzhou, like Walmart, Metro, Carrefour, and Tesco. And the education conditions in Changzhou is also uh, good for foreign investors because there are 18 colleges and universities in Changzhou, and three of them uh, they are international schools provides integrated basic education from primary school to high school. And despite the education condition, uh, the hospital, the health care service for foreign investors is also very convenient and good. There are altogether 29 hospitals in Changzhou, and five of them provides, provide particular green pass and English speaking services for foreign investors. And the second aspect I'd like to talk with you uh, about the uh, ready-made platforms, especially for Israeli companies in Changzhou. The first one is the China-Israel International Science and Technology Cooperation Base. And this base is the first state-level Israeli industrial park, which is named as the International Science and Technology Cooperation Base by the Ministry of Science and Technology of China. And this space receives strong support from the Israeli Consul General in Shanghai and the Israeli Trade and Industry Association. So it plays a very key role in providing hospital investment environment for Israeli high-tech enterprises who have interest to have investment development in Changzhou. And uh, it is also uh, for facilitating technology transfer between China and Israel. And it has cooperated with Catalyst Fund to provide capital support for Israeli companies, maybe who uh, need it. And uh, let's see the functional st structure of this space. This space uh, covers an area of uh, about five square kilometers and will be exe executed in three phases. And uh, it includes four functional sections, such as uh, incubators, accelerators, industry area, and functional section. Uh, and these are the figures of the areas covered by each section. I need to mention that the industrial, air, the industrial area uh, for Israeli companies, the potential investment and development in Changzhou, it covers 500 Chinese mu. That means much space for development, so welcome. And uh, this space also provides in incentives and supports for Israeli companies. Actually, uh, includes tax incentives, R&D supports, Long subsidies, equity and financing services, and subsidy for equipment, also incentives for rentals and sales. And the industry services it provided by this space include one-stop service, project management system, intellectual property right protection system, which is very, very uh, vital and important in China. And the third-party outsourcing service system also uh, included. And these are the specific platforms that are uh, built for the cooperation of science and technology between Chinese and uh, Israeli companies. And the platforms, for example, for international science and technology cooperation and transfer, the platform for investment and financing, and exchange centers for think tank of Israeli high-tech enterprises, platforms for public management, and exchange center for Israeli high-tech enterprises. And the second platform, especially for Israeli companies, is the Changzhou Advanced Materials Industrial Zone. It covers an area of about 553 hectares, and it is one of the Changzhou National Level Innovation High-Tech Parks. 
And what makes it special is that it covers, uh, uh, up to now, this uh, base is, has successfully built several influential brands, including national level new material base, provincial level new type engineering material park, Jiangsu province functional new material industry clusters, Jiangsu province new material high tech industry base. And this uh, brand means that uh, you, you may get uh, better incentives and uh, uh, better preferential policies from the provincial government or central government, which is very good for Israeli companies to come in. And this chart shows the uh, growth and development vision of uh, this materials industrial zone. And you can see from the chart the total investment into this advanced materials industrial zone has grown from 5 billion RMB in the year of 2010 to 12 billion RMB in the year of 2012, and it aims to reach 18 billion RMB in the year of 2015. And these are the well-known enterprises in this field that has uh, settled down in this industrial zone. And you may notice that Lyco Red, as an industry's rare company, mainly produce health product, Lycoping, it has cooperative project in this zone. And the third aspect I would like to talk with you is the, the third platform is the West Taipu Lake Medical Equipment Industrial Zone. And uh, it covers a lot, an area of uh, over 10,000 Chinese move, also much space. It focuses on the development of medical equipment and pharmaceutical products. And it includes five functional sectors, exhibition and trade, R&D incubation and outsourcing, industrial service platform, healthcare industrial manufacturing, and healthcare service experience centers. And the incentives for uh, Israeli companies from this medical equipment industrial zone is the priority of land use, the preferential price, price of land, workshop and office leasing reduction, tax reduction, subsidy or reward for the enterprise in this very medical equipment and biopharmaceutical field. And these are also the uh, um, companies that already have settled down in this medical equipment industry zone. Also includes Israeli ones like Tutna, like Red, they all have uh, uh, cooperative projects here. And fourth is the Changzhou CND biopharmaceutical industry zone. It is uh, a, a provincial, pro approved a provincial level industry zone. And it is specially dedicated for biopharmaceutical industry. So, and its service includes incubator, accelerator, public technology service center, and et cetera. And it mainly develops new biopharmaceutical medicine and dosage, small molecular drug, medical instrument, and modern traditional Chinese medicine, et cetera. And these are the companies uh, from the uh, Chinese domestic market and abroad that have already invested in this biopharmaceutical industrial zone. Uh, you can find Chosen and Fang Yun from uh, Changzhou, they're local companies, they're famous in the Chinese market, and also like Biomed from the United States. And the fifth is uh, Changzhou Science Education Town. Uh, unlike the industrial platforms I just mentioned, it, this is a, uh, develop, developing into a core of human resource and R&D of Changzhou. The Science and Education Town is the first of its kind in China featuring on-hand training and uh, cultivation of pragmatic skills. And there are about 70,000 students in the campus and around 20,000 uh, students graduate every year. And it includes six high-level vocational colleges and universities. It includes uh, uh, Changzhou University, which was formerly called Jiangsu Polytechnic University, and Changzhou Institute of Information Technology, Changzhou Textile and Garment Institute and other institutes. And uh, altogether 520 institutes operate in the science education town. And uh, three, these three sub-centers and six institutes of China Academy Science has uh, set up here. And also 26 labs, over 20 training centers. And uh, 24 institute and enterprise co-R&D centers. And uh, it boasts over 10,000 R&D talents. And 200 innovative and business starting teams uh, led by the leading talents uh, got support from the special uh, incentive policies uh, made by Changzhou municipal government that they have settled down in the year of 2011. 
And the Design Education Town, and together with other universities and colleges in Changzhou, and the local employees and the immigrant workers, they have uh, together formed the Talents Pool in Changzhou, which can strongly support the uh, development, the uh, human resource demand of the Israeli companies who may have interest to have development in Changzhou. And the uh, last aspect I would like to talk with you is the uh, Changzhou's existed cooperations with Israeli companies. And let's first see the cooperation mode between Changzhou and the Israeli companies. If a Israeli company uh, have the interest to uh, have to expand in China market and uh, have investment and development in Changzhou, it could purchase or lease ready-built workshops and offices. It can also do green land investment, and we also prepared incubators, incubation sectors for those business startups. And also the venture capital have uh, cooperations with the government. We have very good relations. It can provide capital support for the business for biz businessmen. And these are a list of Israeli companies that already have corporate, cooperative projects in Changzhou, uh, though it is not a completed one because the uh, list is uh, updated every day. And you can see the Likerid, PTL Group, Tertina, Netafim, Lichon, Catalyst Fund. And uh, please allow me to share with you one good and successful example of uh, Israeli, of the cooperations between Changzhou and Israeli companies. Matrix Group is a world famous IT group and it has put its IT training and deve software development project in Changzhou. It has just settled by the end of last year with the total investment of 5 million US dollars. And the government has offered some support like subsidy for the enterprise and the employees, tax reduction and uh, offering offices for Matrix Group. And since Matrix have already settled here, uh, it will also, it can also be providing good talent support and training services for Israeli companies that would uh, come to Changzhou to set up branches or those who already have set up branches here. And that is my uh, brief, brief presentation. Please feel free to contact me afterwards if you have any other inquiries. Thank you very much.